Okay, so tonight we're going to focus on the new fa Facebook fan page um, and really what it, uh, what it all entails. You, you, you're not going to have a choice. By March 30th, 2012, all Facebook fan pages will get this new design. And it's not the design you see on the page. We're going to go there in a minute. But everything will convert over. So what you want to be able to do and what the intent of this uh, video is or of this webinar is, is to walk you through um, all of the changes that are taking place and what you need to do to, to, to maximize those changes from a business perspective because that's really how we're looking at this obviously from a business perspective so we're going to walk through this kind of step by step I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do um, to update your page by the 30th of March and that's the good news you have until the 30th of March you don't have to do it right now um, so you still have plenty of time you still have what uh, you know over three weeks yet before you need to do something with your page or Facebook's going to convert it over for you anyway but it's not going to look very good so uh, that's what we want to walk through tonight I want you to be um, very uh, uh, aware of what the changes are and ultimately I think you're going to be comfortable as I turned out to be I mean my initial reaction was oh crap um, what the heck are they doing now and uh, once I really understood all of the changes, I, uh, I knew that it was uh, really, in, in many ways, very positive. So, so let's do that. And, and we're going to work with one of our clients here, uh, Ruthie Turbidy and her page. And I'm going to actually update Ruthie's page and bring it up to speed with the, uh, with the new uh, fan page changes. So the first thing you want to do on your fan page, if you haven't done so already, is just hit the preview button. By hitting the preview button, it's going to show you potentially what your page is going to look like um, right off the bat. So uh, hold on a second here. Well, it's certainly not going to look like that. OK, so this is what your new page is going to look like uh, before you make any changes to it, before you add a cover uh, shot to it, etc. This is what the page is going to look like. And if you look up here at the top now, you can see that you, you've got a couple of options. It, you, you can, you can uh, go back to your old design at any time. Okay, so in other words, right now we're just in viewing mode. This is not visible to anybody that comes to your page. This isn't visible to anybody right now. If you were to go to Ruthie's page right now, you wouldn't see this. You would see her old design. So it's the same with your, your pages. While it's in preview mode, only you as the administrator can see it, okay? Um, so you can kind of play around with it. You can, you know, you can, you can get a really good feel for what the new page is going to look like, what all of the capabilities are, etc before you hit the magic publish now button because once you hit publish now that's it there's no turning back it's a done deal at that point okay so once you hit publish now that's it uh, it it will be published uh, and we're gonna actually hit that tonight for Ruthie once we get all the changes done but basically uh, you know that's that's this is what you're gonna what you're gonna first see when you go to your page and you hit the the preview now button Obviously, the first thing, the most dynamic piece to all of this is the cover photo. And for those of you that have upgraded your personal profiles to the new timeline, you know exactly what we're dealing with here with this new cover. Matter of fact, a lot of you who have built custom covers or have used some of our custom covers um, already know what this, what this can look like. Now, let me give you a, a, a couple of uh, Facebook guidelines that are part of this cover, some things that you can't do in this cover. One of the things, and, and it's too bad, and I'm hoping that they change their attitude towards this because, uh, for goodness sakes, this is a business page. Y you should have every opportunity to promote your business, um, to advertise your business. That's what this is for, right? So, um, but here's the restrictions that they have on this cover cover photo okay so first thing I want you to do um, is uh, and, and I'm going to show you in a minute uh, how you can design your own cover 
Um, actually, we've already gone th through that in some some other training that we've done, how to design a cover. But the cover, just as a as a as a refresher and a reminder, the cover dimensions here. Okay, it is 11.33 inches wide. Okay, so the width is 11.33 inches, and the height is 4.2 inches. So it's 11.33 inches by 4.2 inches. Now people will say, well, can't I just upload any photo into here? Yeah, you can if you want it to look like crap. Sure, you absolutely can. Unless you build or have built, have somebody build for you a cover photo, cover um, image that is that exact size and layout, it's going to look like crap. Okay, Guaranteed, it'll look like crap. It'll be out of focus. It'll look stretched. It'll look it'll look squished whatever so because unless you find a photograph that's exactly 11.33 inches wide by 4.2 inches uh, tall it'll look terrible so so um, but that's the dimensions that you want to deal with now let's talk about uh, Facebook restrictions on what you can have in there you can't have any kind of obvious call to actions so you can't have contact information on there. You can't have uh, you can't have um, click on my like button, right? Cl you know, click on my like button. Um, you can't have, and the like button will be you know right down here. Obviously, you don't see it on Ruthie's because you know I've, I, I'm an administrator on Ruthie's page and I've already liked the page, right? So, but the like button will still be right in here, okay? So, but, but you can't say click on my like button, you know, nothing along those lines, okay? So um, you can't have any kind of sales pitch, you can't have deals, you can't have a, a coupon, you can't have specials, you can't have anything like that in your, uh, in your cover photo. Basically your cover photo needs to be a representation of your business okay it needs to be a representation of your business so as an example let's go over here and for those of you that are uh, members uh, you will have access to the cover banners that we've already created so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upload the exact cover banner that I'm gonna use for Ruthie's page right here okay so I'm going to um, I've already actually already saved this so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna upload this to Ruthie's page so uh, let me get in and do that and basically right here is where you're gonna do it see where it says add a cover you're just gonna click on that see it, it tells you right here when you click on it this space is not meant for promotions coupons or advertisement your cover photo should not be primarily text based or infringe on anyone else's copyrights okay so you hit the OK button and then you can choose from photos that you already have um, that you've already downloaded onto your page or you can upload a photo we're gonna go ahead and upload a photo so let me go ahead and do that and I'm going to go to my healthy water profits the right one here and I'm gonna find KW Okay, I'm going to find this cover right here. I think this is the right one that we're uploading. Okay, so we've got that here. You know, it, it allows you to drag to reposition, but again, if your cover was shot the right way or laid out the right way, um, it, it will be the right dimensions here for what you want. Notice, by the way, this is where her photo, her, her you know, just profile photo goes, okay, just the picture of Ruthie. And you can see that when we design this, we, uh, we position this accordingly, okay? We position this image above where this uh, profile photo um, kind of overlaps the cover, okay? Now, I do have in this image it says ask about a free trial okay it's very small it's not overly uh, aggressive I think it will be okay and frankly I just don't think Facebook has enough people to police all of this especially in a small thing worst case scenario uh, they would contact us and they would say hey you need to change your cover photo and that's no big deal okay so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and save the changes for now 
and we'll see how it looks once it's complete. Ah, there we go. Okay, so Ruthie now has her new cover photo for her fan page. Okay, so there it is. So now uh, we've got that piece taken care of. Okay, so the cover photo. Now, the other thing that you want to be able to do on this cover photo, this cover photo, a lot of times what people will do or can do is they will click on one of these two photos. They'll come to the page and for whatever reason they click on them. So make sure, okay, because when you click on it, see it just, it goes here and it shows you. Now, you can go ahead and write up a comment on this cover photo. You can write a comment and the comment can be anything. See, that's the beauty of this, of this uh, cover photo in the comment area. You could write anything. You could write, uh, call me for uh, a free 30 day trial. You could call, you know, call me to, you know, to uh, try my product free for 30 days. You can write anything in here, your contact information, phone number, you can put your website link in here, whatever you want. So this is one of the key areas as well. You can, once you've uploaded that photo, the cover photo, click on it, add a description. Okay, you can add a description and uh, you're, you're, you're good to go. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that right at this moment, but, uh, but we'll add that later on. Okay, so you can add a description to this. And so if anybody clicks through, it, you know, uh, call me for you know whatever you can have a call to action at that point it just can't be obvious here in the in the cover photo okay so uh, once that is in place uh, you, we're, we're kind of ready to, to take a look at and and we're ready to take a look at uh, you know the rest of the page here okay so one of the things that uh, that has changed a bit is this a little bit uh, of a of a write up. This used to be on the right on the left hand side of your page. This was kind of an about type thing. Now now you have a bigger opportunity. Okay, you have a greater opportunity. This can include a link to your website or your blog. Okay, so you can put a link to your website or your blog right in here. So you can have a description, okay, uh, that, and, and, and a link to your blog right in here. So a little bit of a write-up, which, which, which again you had in your about section, okay, um, and, uh, and you could now put the link to your blog or your website and it'll embed right here, okay, and you can even have a call to action right here. Hey, if you want more information, go visit my blog or go visit my website and then have the link right in here. That could be part of this write-up, part of this description, okay? So you've got this, uh, you've got this opportunity uh, right there, okay? So that's, that's a pretty important one right there because remember, here's the other big curveball that they threw at us. You can't designate, unless you're running an ad, you can't designate uh, anything other than this page right here, you can't designate another page as your default page unless you're running an ad, okay? But anybody coming to your page will land right here. So you've got to be as descriptive as possible in this, in this box area with, you know, following within the Facebook guidelines on the image, but certainly right here in this section, you can have a descriptive, you know, any kind of, you could have any kind of call to action here for goodness sakes, and then a link. And you could link it, you could link it to your welcome page, you could link it, to, you could link it anywhere. I said to your website or your blog, it doesn't have to go there. It could go to one of your custom tabs. Okay, it could go to your, one of your custom tabs. Now, what happened to the tabs that were over here on the left hand side of the page? What happens? Well, they pop up here now. You can see the welcome tab is up here, compensation is up here, and now they're putting the likes. The likes are going up here, but the good news, you can change all of these. You could put whatever, whatever one of your tabs you want up here in th these three sections, you can do that. You can't change photos, photos will always be there. Okay, photos will always be there, but you can change welcome um, you can change any of these and have anything up here. So one of the things that I did 
uh, for you guys on the custom tabs is I went in and I changed the logo images okay so on the welcome tab I put a click here logo again call to action you could have call to actions down here in these tab images so I added click here so now for all of you that you know that have this particular format the first thing that people are going to see is click here okay I wonder what this is so they now can click through on this and uh, they'll end up on the uh, welcome page is where they're going to end up on the on the welcome page now I'm going to show you in a second here what the changes are on the welcome page the welcome page is very clean any any of the custom tabs now are going to be very very clean um, there the scroll bar will disappear here in a minute there you're not going to have any kind of advertising or anything else on the sides anymore which is beautiful it's a, it's a bigger it's a wider format it looks better it's a lot cleaner so here's the welcome page here right okay welcome page here so uh, again um, what we what we've done is I've added onto those uh, custom tabs I've added custom images that are more descriptive and will get people to take action right like for instance on compensation you can see here I did a make money button okay so now there's a make money button on that compensation tab okay so now we got make money there right now I don't need to have nor should any of us you don't need to have the number of like your, your likes right here okay if you come over here to the right hand side you can click on this little arrow and you'll get a little drop down and you'll see here's the other custom tabs okay the order now events testimonials well what I want is I want that testimonials tab right up here uh, instead of the like tab so what I can do see there's this little pencil right here I can click on this pencil and it will say swap positions with I want to swap positions with I gotta scroll down a little bit here I want to swap positions with uh, with likes okay and look there so see it jumped it right up now keep in mind that most people won't ever click on this button right here right so all they're gonna see is what's visible right here at the top of the page okay that's all they're gonna see so that's why we wanted to be as visually descriptive as possible with these custom tabs so that people will see right off the bat oh yeah I do want to see testimonials or, or click here what, what's that all about make money that's interesting okay we can do that but you have the I mean you could put anything in here you could put you if you, if you want to have your events tab up here you can put that up here so it's just it's very easy to switch these out again the only thing you can't switch out is the photos but these three are custom tab uh, spots custom tab spots that you can uh, change at any time and remember you can interchange these this isn't in other words this isn't locked down once you've once I click the publish button up at the top these aren't stuck in that position I you can edit these at any given moment okay at any given moment so by far and away this is the most important section on the, this page because this is what most people are going to see right off the bat and they'll see you know because I've got this window reduced a little bit for recording purposes they're going to see this top um, they're going to see this top post here as well and we're going to deal with that in a second because there's some cool things that you can do with that top post so the good news is really the good news is I think visually if you do this the right way visually you've got a better opportunity to promote your business with these new fan pages than you ever did before the challenge is the challenge is is when people come to your page what are they going to see okay what are they gonna see but because we have uh, adjusted because we've made these adjustments uh, on the you know it, on these custom tabs and we put these images on here it, it it makes them jump out more there's no question somebody comes to Ruthie's page now it's gonna jump out at them 
and by adding maybe a little more descriptive language over here, adding you know a, a, a link to either a blog or a website or even linking, shoot, you can even link it here to the welcome page, testimonial page, compensate, whatever you want, you can link, put that link right in here. So again, you've got a pretty good opportunity here to be able to really make this work for you in a very, very positive way, okay? So that is, uh, it, th that's that section. Now, if we drill down and we go into, um, you know, the, the about section here, actually, I'm going to go up to, let me get this in here. See where it says admin panel? I'm going to click on admin panel. I want to show you a few things on your administration panel, okay? So your admin panel comes up. Now on here, you, you've got notifications. So basically anything that's been happening on your page is gonna show up here. Any new likes, so in other words, anybody that's come in and liked your page recently is gonna show up here. Insights is your reporting area. So that's gonna show up right in here, all of your insights, and you can kind of drill down on this area as well. This is a brand new section that's, that's pretty exciting as well. Your fans, your prospects, people that are, are going to your page can now send you a private message on your page. They could send you a private message. So remember when we talked about creating some descriptive language, um, you know, in that about us section, um, you certainly can put in that, hey, send me a, send me a message to ask about my 30 day free trial right send me a message and they're going to be able to do that and 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 I'm going to hide this now see where it says message so basically I can click on that message button and I can send a message okay let's wait for that to load up for us so I can send a message and say um, hi Ruthie I am interested in your 30 day trial. Okay, so I'm going to send that. Ruthie's going to get notification. You're going to get notification when somebody does that, okay, right off the bat. And what you'll see when I go back to the page. So to see your messages, you have to go into your admin panel. And then once that pops up, look at there. Hi, Ruthie. So there it is, there's the message. So all of your messages will, will, will be in this message box, which is very, very cool. And again, if you're promoting your page and part of your call to action is, you know, hey, send me a message. Ask me about my 30 day trial or ask me about whatever you're going to start getting people interacting with your page that way as well. So that's a very cool new feature, that message, uh, that message section. Okay. So the other big, big, big highlight here that I want to, uh, point out to you is, is what's going on on your wall now. Okay. Everything just like on your wall before everything is, is, uh, you know, it depends on your timeline, right? It's all structured timeline wise and you've got stuff on the left and stuff on the right and they, they balance that out uh, type thing. Uh, I'm actually going to remove the fact that we, I'm going to hide that. We don't need to have that on there. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it falls in the left or right and, and you can see that the, the latest was done about an hour ago. Now, if I want to pin that, if I want to create a post and I want to make sure that post stays at the top of the page, this is a very cool feature. I could pin it to the top of the page. I can come right up here and see where this, this, this star is, this highlight. If I click on that, that post will stay on the top of the page, top of the wall for seven days. So I could have, I could be promoting a, a free 30 day try again. You can have you can have your promotion information right here in your in your description, okay? Right in this description area, along with whatever links, you then can have that uh, uh, the pr a promotion right here in this post that you could pin to the top, okay? Let me show you. 
I'm going to click on that so I'm highlighting it and what it does and actually let me go ahead and refresh the page let me refresh the page and we'll scroll back okay so now what happened was I pinned that look at that it puts it across the entire top of your wall so it creates like a like a banner a promotional banner that will stay on the top of the page for seven days so you could create whatever you wanted it and if you want to take it off you can always take it off you can always just you know remove from you see where it says remove from highlights you can just click on that and remove it from a highlight and then go pin another post or create a post and pin it create a post and pin it but what it does is it takes that and it it places it at the top for seven days and it stretches it ac across your entire fan page so it, it, it in essence creates another banner so and look at how much real estate you have to deal with here right and people are gonna see it right off the bat when they come to your page because they'll come to your page and again I've got a reduced screen here because I'm recording this but if I were to, to, to blow this up you would see that you'd see this right off the bat the top of this so when people come to your page what they're gonna see is they're gonna see the cover they're gonna see this all of this information right in here and they're gonna see this piece right in here that's what they're gonna see okay so again you've got a tremendous opportunity here to really um, do some fun things with this new format and and I feel now that I've been working with it a little bit and I and and frankly to, to be honest with you Ruthie's page is the first page that I've upgraded Ruthie is the first client that I'm upgrading this for okay um, so <laughs> thank you Ruthie you're the guinea pig but but now that I've gone through this and I've gotten a really good understanding of it, um, I'm very, very comfortable with this new format and I'm excited about the possibilities that this new format brings. This new format, I believe, has the ability to promote your business at a much greater level if you do it the right way, exactly the way that I'm talking about here. You upload the right image here you make sure that you order your custom tabs in here the right way right and I'm not saying welcome testimonials compensation is the right certainly welcome you want to have first and foremost but it's up to you what you want to promote then after that but you can move those around again however you want you can edit those and then this write up here is critically important and then and then linking having a link in here is going to be critically important right and then this this first highlighted post this pinned post that's going to go up here at the top of the page first thing people will see when they start want to start checking out the wall and again you know you have that opportunity to be able to promote pretty much even though they say you know Facebook is telling everybody hey you can't do it in your cover photo certainly they give you the opportunity to, to do it every other spot on this page you have that opportunity to be able to uh, to do that so I think it's tremendous and I think uh, you know there's no question that it that it it it's a plus and uh, and 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 will continue to be a plus for you okay so pretty much that's th what this new page is all about okay that's the most important features of this new page um, if you want you can always when you come up here um, you can always take the Facebook tour see where it says start tour you can click on start tour and kind of walk through their little thing and get a little more information if you want okay one of the things I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna publish Ruthie's page yep it says publishing your page will make the new design visible for everyone are you sure you want to publish your page I yes I am but thank you for asking so now it is done it says congratulations your new page design is now live so there we go we can get that out of the way and there we have it there is Ruthie's new page in all its glory looks fantastic Wow looks fantastic okay so 
That's the new fan page. I think we have the opportunity here to have a much more professional look than we had before. Even, even though we don't have the side banners, we now have this big new cover photo, cover banner, that we can build any way we want. You have the opportunity to build that or have it built any way that you want.